Infill father has been arrested and police believe he is responsible for his one year old baby boy overdosing on fentanyl. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Marcy Jones is live this morning in Infill and Marcy you have the disturbing details. Good morning, Wendell. That's correct. You know, this really is the latest in a long line of examples of just how uh, horrific this epidemic is of fentanyl-related deaths. Now, we do know that what makes this situation particularly upsetting is just how young and innocent this victim is. After nearly a year-long investigation, Enfield police have arrested 30-year-old Lennon Rodriguez on charges in connection to his son's death. On November 22nd of last year, a call came in about an unresponsive one-year-old baby boy shortly after the infant was pronounced dead at Bay State Hospital. Now the boy's father is facing multiple charges. Nationwide illicit fentanyl made in a lab is claiming lives at an alarming rate. This kind of fentanyl is anywhere from 50 to 100 times stronger than heroin. Officials say this drug can end a life in minutes. Under the circumstances we believe them to be, this is, uh, this is characterized as an accidental death, a negligent death in terms of the, the, the legal uh, mindset. In calendar year 2021, we have had 10 overdose drug deaths uh, per the office of the chief medical examiner, and seven of them involved fentanyl. Rodriguez is next scheduled to appear in court on the 29th of this month, and the town of Enfield is really taking a hard look at how they can help educate the public on the dangers of this drug, and that's exactly why they are hosting a workshop that everyone is invited to on December 6th. Reporting live in Enfield, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Marcy. And